Number 23. At what minimum angle will you get total internal reflection of light traveling in water and reflected from ice? All right. So anytime they're talking about total internal reflection, uh, they're talking about then an angle of refraction, which is 90 degrees. Check out number 20. I went through a, an analysis of how to think through this problem. Anytime then they're talking about total internal reflection, they're really asking you for the critical angle. Okay, that's the minimum angle here. So I developed the formula in number 20, check it out. So this is then going to be N2 over N1, and we then know that N2 must be less than N1. So all I gotta do, we got water and ice. So look up the values, right? So you go to your table, water, where are you? Water is about here, right, 1.333. Where's ice? Well, ice is a solid, right? And uh, I guess ice is also a solid at 20 degrees Celsius. Huh, go figure. Um, so 1.309, all right? So which one is less? Ice is, so you're gonna put that one on the top. Okay, 1.309. So we got 1.309 over the 1.333. That's also what it's kind of saying. It's saying from water and reflected from ice. So it's going from the water into the ice, essentially. Um, so the refracted ray would have been in the ice. That's why that's on top. And the water is the incident part. That's why that's on the bottom. And that'll also make sense if you take a look at number 20. And this is all it is then. Simple, easy as pie. So inverse sine of 1.309 divided by 1.333, 79.1. There it is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out if you can and subscribe and like. All right, it definitely helps that algorithm. All right, and I'll see you soon. Take it easy.